Welcome to the Wellness for Women show, where we talk about life, weight loss and everything in between. I'm Faye Caseman, founder of the AAA Way Life and Weight Loss Program, and I'm here to help you put together the pieces of life and weight loss for one last time. This is an episode of the Wellness for Women show, filmed live in the free Facebook group. Tonight, what am I covering? I am covering how time impacts weight loss. So why time management is important when you're trying to lose weight. So a common misconception is that the only thing that you need to lose weight is diet and exercise. Well, they are key things. There's no two ways about it. Um, But there are other things that are important for lasting weight loss and things that make your journey easier and more sustainable. Um, So does it surprise you that I say that weight, um, weight loss time management is one of them or that time impacts weight loss let me know in the chat leave me a surprised or a not surprised um if um if time was something that you have you even thought about that in connection with weight loss or not uh obviously it's a life thing and obviously in the wellness for women group i'm all about anything that makes life easier weight loss easier the whole point is that life and weight loss does not have to suck and um you know, it's all about trying to find, navigate our way through uh, the human experience. So anyway, effective uh, time management um, really is an important life skill in general for everybody. Let's face it, like I say, whether you're trying to lose weight or not. So there are some tips here, even if you're not on a weight loss journey. Uh, But if you want to see real and lasting results in your weight loss, then I definitely would put honing your time management skills up there. Uh, Like most things, though, it is likely to be a continual work in progress. Um, I even if you are the the most organized person in the world, there's always something that crops up in life that can throw a spanner. So it's always something that we, you're likely to be working on. And so let's say you're probably wondering why, why, why is Faye saying that um, time management is so important for weight loss? Um, is it because I need to make time for my diet and exercise? Well, in part, yes, you know, diet and exercise are definitely the key factors in weight loss, but they are, like I said, not the only factors. Uh, as an excuse that um, pops up often is I don't have time, but there are other reasons too. So stay tuned, keep watching, I'm going to run you through them. So first off, Another question for you. Play along now, as it is important that you gain awareness so that you can take your life on weight loss by the balls. Uh, Let me know in the comments, how would you score your relationship with time? So score it one to 10, one being I never have enough time to do everything I need to, and a 10 being I always have time for everything that I need to do. So let me know, one to 10 in the chat. Uh, what would you score your relationship with time? So whilst you are busy thinking about that question, I'm just going to have a little fight with my mouse. There we go. That's better. Uh, So whilst you're typing, if you want access to the show notes, leave me a hashtag show notes and I will shoot you those over when they're ready. Uh, quick, uh, quick hello from me. So anybody who, um, so drop me a hashtag show notes and I'll send you the link. Anybody who doesn't know me or know me well, I am Faye Casement. I am the creator of the Triple A Way Weight Loss Program, where I help women lose weight for good by ditching traditional diet methods. And I do this by teaching them, my Triple A women, I teach them how to craft their own unique weight loss journey through a combination of intuitive style eating methods and life coaching. Uh, and really all it takes is four simple daily actions that you can use anytime, any place and anywhere. Um, so stay tuned because there's something exciting coming up about that. So got people watching. So hello, Rachel Rach and hello, Debbie Collins. Lovely to have you here. So let's get on in. So why is time management important for weight loss? Well, the most obvious thing, as we've already touched on, is you do need to dedicate enough time to your weight loss and any movement that you want to do. But the pro move is managing your time well generally in life and other things like like work and family. Um, Good time management skills means that you're more likely to make healthier choices throughout the day, which then leads to better eating habits and more consistent exercise routines. 
On the other hand, we may not have the greatest relationship with time, poor time management, which can lead to stress and anxiety, which can then lead to emotional eating and possibly a more sedentary lifestyle if you find that you're struggling to look after your well-being. So really it comes down to you and what it comes down to is how you and how much you want to use your time or how you want to use your time. And if you want to make lasting changes in your life and weight loss, then managing time could possibly be the difference between success and failure on some days. So what else do I have to tell you about time? So time is often used as an excuse for not doing a lot of things. So we have we all have 168 hours in a week, but it's how we choose to spend them that, that counts. So I quote this all the time, but where your attention goes, your energy flows. And this is the same for time. Uh, we will always make time for things that are important to us. So you might say, hold up, Faye, but I have a job. Can't skip out on that. I have a family that needs me. And all these things are absolutely true, of course. But it is important to still realize and accept that they are choices. Now, there is still likely to be scope within your day as to how you how you do those things and accepting the choices that we make or feel compelled to make is also part and parcel of that relationship with time and how we spend it. So, for example, when I was putting the notes together for this, my plan at the time was to be writing a webinar uh, for another group uh, that I'm hopefully going to participate in. But I got this idea into my head and I chose to put that to one side and write and write this live. Um, problem with that is that I ha now haven't still got around to doing the webinar that I was going to do. So, again, you know, it's important to know where where your attention directs you in that regard. So, for example, you might also, when you're trying to look after your health and well-being, you might choose to have an extra half an hour in bed instead of getting up to do some exercise. Certainly been guilty of that one. Uh, or maybe you zone out and buffer on Facebook or Facebook or TikTok for an hour. Totally done that. I am human. Oh, my goodness. Is there so much fun on TikTok? Um you know, but my brain is still very happy to complain that I don't have enough time to do what I really want to do, which is complete and utter BS when I can spend an hour on Facebook and an hour on TikTok. I could have been moving my butt. So, you know, it's being aware of the excuses that we sometimes use. Now, that's not to say that it's a bad thing. Um, it it's, depends how you think and feel about it, which is... Um, just about where you, the sort of the mindfulness comes in with with time and how you how you relate to time and what you do. But obviously, if it's something that's not serving you and you want to work on that, then that gives you an idea as to where you need to work. So in one of my group coaching sessions in the membership recently, uh, we did an exercise called the 168 hour week. It was really interesting because my uh, ladies that were there could really see where their time was going. And once you've gathered that awareness, once you've really looked at that, it then helps you to step into action. Um, we then revisited it the week after for some accountability. And so, again, it's something that you can be working on and work in progress. Uh, and the exercise that I've got within the membership, for example, it can actually be run to one of two ways. So you can run it that way where you can see where your time's going and you can run it the other way, which is that you can um, decide how you want to spend your time. So if you want to get started on how time impacts in your weight loss, then why not join the membership? Of course, I'm going to say that. Um, and then you can run through that exercise, too. So how else does time show up? Well, how else does it impact us, our health, our well-being, and our weight loss? So time and stress. So time is a huge stressor for a lot of people. You know, you might find that you've, or you might feel like you're running late all the time. You're frazzled. You can't meet deadlines. Um, and if that's the case, you're likely to feel pretty stressed uh, at times. Uh, a simple thing like misplacing your keys in the morning can lead to you feeling like your whole day has been ruined as you've run late. Uh, it causes the stress to spike uh, or the stress spikes your cortisol, should I say. Um, that can also trigger, trigger off a number of thoughts about, you know, how the day is going to be crap and all these kind of things. And it could you could end up being in a bad mood for the whole day. And that ultimately is going to impact how you show up for your well-being as well as impacting in your well-being yourself. Right. So, you know, if you feel if you're somebody who feels like you've run out of time at the end of the day and don't have enough time for yourself once you've finished working, looking after loved ones, um, you know, and find that you're not making the best choices for yourselves in that moment, then 
if that's you, it's likely to be born out of one of two things. So one is you may not feel that you deserve to make time for yourself. You may feel guilty and selfish when you take time to work on you. Um, but I'm here to tell you that this is not true. Um, and also to remind that remind you that really, in order to give to others, you have to first give to yourself um, and you will show up more vibrantly. It's just like on an airplane. You're told to put on your oxygen mask first. Right. Um, you know, and if that's you, if you find that that is you and how that shows up for you, because you certainly won't be alone. I've seen a lot of women struggling with that. Um, you know, let me know because we can work on that. We can work on that kind of thing in the membership. Um, the other thing that um, could be coming up or as well as is that it could be the time management. So in the book, The Big Leap by Gay Hendricks, if you haven't read it, it's worth a read. He talks about Einstein time and how we actually have the ability to create time. And he talks about how it can compress or expand depending on how you're showing up in the moment. So how do you do this? You know, that well, the first step is to be aware of what's going on and how you feel time and where you feel space disappearing for you. Um, and then from there, once you've got the awareness, then you can start to make little action steps and shifts so that you can start to get little bits and bobs of more time in your day and life. Um, so whether it's working on uh, time management or efficiencies and getting things done faster or taking control about the negative thoughts that you may or may not have about yourself you know you ultimately you can do this and it's within your gift to take control of those things should you so wish to do so and as I said you're not alone you know it's a common issue and I've seen it I've seen so many women struggle with this juggling day-to-day uh, -day life um, and that naturally does then impact in on your well-being your weight loss and generally your health which is why I cover this in the membership OK, so next part. So as I said, you know, if you are feeling a bit frazzled, a bit stressed, uh, that will show up in your eating, you know, whether that be through emotional eating. And it's likely without the right help, you may well be making choices that don't serve your life or weight loss. And I say this isn't a dig. You know, it's just reality It's what happens. Um, like I say I've seen it in my own weight loss journey. I've been there, done that, got the T-shirt, still occasionally do it. And I've also seen it in the journeys of others. Um, you know, who hasn't had a really healthy meal planned for the evening only to then be so frazzled that you couldn't contemplate cooking it? And so then maybe you've grabbed a last minute takeout or, you know, your friends then invited you down to the pub after the busy day and you're like, yes, 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 yes you know, and all of the good intentions that you had, good intentions, you know, fell by the wayside who hasn't skipped out on their chosen exercise because they were perhaps home late and they couldn't possibly do it then because they were so tired, so stressed. And who hasn't been so busy that they forgot to eat and then perhaps had a had an ovary in the evening um, because you deserve it, right? So why don't you, if you want to take this to the next level, why don't you do a little bit of, a bit of self coaching at home and write down the ways in which time could be impacting your weight loss. Um, I would love to know uh, what comes out for you. By all means, drop it into the Wellness for Women group. Drop it under this live. Let's uh, let's look at all of these things together, right? OK, so how do we bust time hurdles? So how do you overcome these hurdles? How do you show up for yourself and your weight loss daily? So here's some tips on how you can do that. So my first tip is to work on it. <laughs> it's easy to uh, just let life happen to you, you know, but when you take hold of life um, and your weight loss, magical things can happen. So putting it front and center, as I say, where your attention goes, your energy flows. So the more you can um, put these to the front and center of your brain. So again, if you've caught any of the previous lives, I've told you about how you have your habit brain at the back, which is basically where you're just running on autopilot and all of your habits are in control. Whereas when you bring it to the front of your brain, that's when your rational part of you is taking control and um, you're more likely to do what you're saying that you're going to do, basically. Um, next tip for you is to work on your thoughts and relationship with time. Um, at the end of the day, it is your thoughts about any given situation that ultimately creates your results. So again, you may or may not have caught previous lives. So situation occurs, that leads to you having a thought, that leads to you feeling an emotion, 
that will lead to you taking an action or inaction, which then impacts your results. And that is what happens throughout life. So any situation that happens doesn't actually have meaning until you have thoughts about it. And so working on your relationship with thoughts, relationship with time, hugely powerful stuff, um, life changing. OK, and then what you're going to do once you've gathered all that juicy awareness is that you're going to look at getting some practical action steps in place. So, you know, really get to know what's sucking your time and then look to see how you can how you can make changes to that. Um, prioritize your time and set realistic commitments to yourself. So, again, don't just let life happen to you. You know, what can you take control of? Um, so that could be, you know, focusing on which tasks are important or ensuring that you've got enough time to devote to your diet and exercise. Um, ultimately, there is a ton, I mean, a ton of life coaching tools available uh, to help with that, as well as, um, you know, sort of um, one to one coaching like I offer and group coaching like I offer. Um, the other thing is about working on distractions. So like social media or the Internet, um, it can be easy to lose. Very easy. Well, not easy. Very easy <laughs> to lose time scrolling through Instagram, Facebook and TikTok uh, and any other platforms, YouTube. Uh, so, you know, being conscious of that is uh, definitely something that you might want to look at. And obviously, if you, you know, even if you just gain five minutes here and there, it's surprising how that can add up and that can then be utilized towards your wellness, weight loss and well-being. OK, so quick re recap. Trying to lose weight can be like trying to run a marathon with no training. Uh, it's impossible to achieve your goals sometimes without putting in the time and effort required. Similarly, if you're not managing your time, you're likely to end up with overeats, making choices that perhaps sabotage your weight loss goals. Uh, so just like a race, time management is one of the key factors that determines whether you reach the finish line. And there are, as I said, many, many ways in which you can look to um, look to work on that um, and look to ensure that it's not impacting into your uh, wellness and weight loss goals. Uh, so I hope that you found that useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and keep watching every week, 8.30 Wednesday, Wellness for Women, every single week. Um, if you ever do miss the live, the replays are always available. Uh, so all you need to do is um, pop into the group and find them or drop me a DM. You could also, if you don't want to miss out on any of the uh, updates or free resources, anything like that, pop on over to triple, so my website, so www.triple-a-way.com, sign up for the newsletter or drop me a uh, DM with your email. I'll add you into my mailing list. So I tell you when I go live, I let you know when the show notes are out, drop me the replay links and then um, other resources as and when they come up. Um, thanks for listening and don't forget if you want to boost your life and weight loss the AAA way check out the relevant links for today's show in the description speak soon <laughs>